But we got Thursday night football, Bills, Dolphins. One thing I took away from, from the Bills this weekend was uh, they're exactly who I thought they were. They are so Josh Allen dependent. And this man, I'm not saying he's not going to be great. He was great out there. Um, but he can't do that. He can't be Superman every single game. Look, he banged up his hand already, his non-throwing hand. Um, but he's not going to survive a full season doing that. And if he goes down, that team is in big trouble. And it, they all they also don't have much depth. So if any of the other players get banged up, um, that's not going to be great for the Bills. I've been low on the Bills this year, and it looks like that's going to probably pan out unless somehow a miracle happens for this team or that defense starts figuring it out. Um, the, I think they're... They're definitely missing Poyer. Uh, you know, he went down to Miami, but he was kind of the heart and soul of that secondary for a long time. And uh, I don't know. I I, I'm, I wasn't too impressed with the Bills. It was an impressive comeback. But, I mean, that's just Arizona being Arizona. Uh, Dolphins. I I like the Dolphins in this one. They got sharp action and big money on the Dolphins. I kind of like the Dolphins in this one. I like that they didn't look so great to open up the, up the week. Now you got uh, a division rival coming in here. Um, I kind of – I lean at the moment towards Miami, laying the one and a half. Uh, but we'll, I mean, Josh Allen could win this game single handedly again. So, but we'll see. But uh, what do you think, Robert? Yeah, I mean, I think that you, you have, you know, Tua came out a little bit rusty out of the gate, and then they got a new defensive coordinator and a lot of pass rushers missing off the defense, though they did play much better in the second half against the Jags. Tyree Kill gets arrested, uh, you know, before the game and even does his little handcuff dance after, you know, <laughs> after he gets the touchdown. So, <laughs> he's a terrific. He, yeah, they released the body camera footage, and the Dolphins team is all uh, agitated about it. The uh, but Hill is still Hill. That that offense can explode at any moment. It's going to be my. I mean, when it's Miami in September, uh, you have to kind of favor Miami. Uh, that I I assume they'll they'll get the offense running and clicking. Uh, the defense will be a work in progress all year. Uh, but that's the same story for the Bills. Uh, the difference. And one thing that be- hurts, w- one thing that hurts them is they usually have an advantage early on in the year because of way- home games, the way their stadium set up. That sun beats down on the other uh, sideline. But this is a night game, so they yeah. don't even get that yeah. little advantage in this uh, one. That's true. That that yeah. probably, probably is priced into the line. But I would mm-hmm. have made the Dolphins uh, minus three in this situation. So yeah, I, I would. Uh, I would. I'll, I'll pick the Dolphins to to win and cover. That's me, man. I think the Dolphins very well may be my favorite bet in the NFL this week. I love seeing them come out and start kind of slow uh, last weekend against the Jaguars there, but did show a lot of resiliency, be able to battle back in that thing. Defense didn't play terribly. You know, they gave up the 17 pretty early on, but then didn't allow a point the rest of the way. There in the Bills looked really, really bad in the early on against the Arizona team that's not expected to be up or echelon in the NFL anything. I mean, a lot of teams, I think their win total is only sitting around four and a half, five and a half in most spots for Arizona. So it's not a great team right there. And the Bills had to do, if it weren't for Josh Allen, that's what I think is going to wind up having to this team, man. They don't have a lot of depth. They're going to wind up using Josh Allen way too much. And uh, he's going to take a lot of those big hits. The guy does not know how to slide. And he will put his body out there on the line. But I think he's going to wind up getting banged up some. I don't know if it's going to be any injury keeping out for any amount of time. But it is going to be something that kind of takes his skill set down a level just because the physical ability of being able to do things there. And he's going to get banged up quite a bit. But I love the Dolphins at this spot. And I'm, I'm with Robert. I think this should be about minus three, maybe minus three and a half there with the books begging some people to take the bills. But um, I think the Dolphins just come back, bounce back in a big way. You know, Buffalo kind of shot their wad last week in that comeback. Now you got a short week having to travel on the road in a division game there. I love Miami. It's probably my favorite bet of the NFL this week is the Dolphins minus the one and a half. Yeah, and I mean, short week doesn't help Allen in that hand. I mean, I'm sure he's going to be fine and whatnot, but this would be a week you probably would love a couple extra days rest on that hand. But we'll Mm -hmm. see. We'll see what happens there. 